The term entomology is derived from two Greek words, entomon means an insect and logos means to study. The term insect is derived from the Latin word insectum which means cut in two. Insects came into the earth 480 million years ago. Man's existence is known from only 1 million years ago. Out of 17 lakh living species on earth, 9.5 lakh species are insects, 2.5 lakh species are plants and 45,000 species alone are vertebrates. Insects are harmful to man as pests of cultivated crops, animals, stored products, carries human diseases and pests of household and industrial articles. They are also helpful as producers of honey, lac, silk, dyes, etc., pollinators of crops and as natural enemies of crop pests. They also serve as important link in the food web of biological cycle in the ecosystem. Study of insects Insects are grouped with other animals with similar characteristics in the phylum Arthropoda. There are about 1 to 2 million species of animals in the world and more than 70% of these are insects. Lack of awareness about insects and their benefits may result in indiscriminate use of different management practices to kill beneficial insects also along with the insect pests. We should have broad principles for supporting the beneficial insects and more specific management practices. Training and awareness programs should be conducted for farmers to educate them about the beneficial insects and activities likely to harm them, limited use of broad spectrum insecticides, habitat conservation in the form of larger patches of remnant vegetation for their survival. Better understanding of the benefits can make conservation more effective and more harmonious land use with effective crop production. Importance of Insects in Agriculture Beneficial insects provide regulating ecosystem services to agriculture such as pollination and the natural regulation of plant pests. Enhancing beneficial insects in agricultural landscapes provide productive ecosystem services to crops. Human cultures and civilization have been maintained in countless ways through these beneficial insects. They regulate the pest population of many harmful pest species, produce natural products and they also dispose the waste and recycle the organic nutrients. Insects are key players in our ecosystem as a whole. Their utmost significance is being summarized as follows. Pollination and seed dispersal Perhaps the most economically important function of insects come in the form of pollination while collecting nectar from the flowers. If there are no honey bees for pollination of our agricultural crops, food production may get affected adversely by 80% globally. Nutrient Recycling 
Nutrient recycling is also a very eco-friendly activity of the insect world. The activities of insect such as leaf litter and wood degradation, dispersal of fungi, disposal of carrion and dung and soil turnover help to restore nutrients in the environment. Honey production Honey produced by the honey bees is perhaps one of the most important gift of nature because of many useful health benefits to humans. Silk Silk from the cocoons of the silkworm moths, bombyx mori and related species has been used for fabric for centuries. India has four types of silk namely mulberry silk, Tassar silk, Eri silk and Muga silk. Mulberry silkworms are totally domesticated and reared for the production of cocoons. Shellac The lac insect Keria laca is a source of a commercial varnish called shellac. Chitin and its derivatives. Chitin a component of insect cuticle and its derivatives act as anticoagulants, enhance wound and burn healing, reduce serum cholesterol and many other such applications. Source of food Insects are either used as food or provide material to be used as food such as honey. Insects are also present at the lower levels of the food webs serving as food for other insectivorous animals like mammals, reptiles, amphibians and fish. Prawn is an insect. Model organisms for biological research. Characteristics of certain insects make them useful organisms for conducting biological research. For example, high fecundity, short lifespan, ease of rearing and manipulation in lab, fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster has been model organism for research in cytology, genetics, molecular biology and developmental biology. Silkworm is used for production of essential proteins and testing drugs. Transmission of diseases to animals and plants. Insects are also important for our survival because they are responsible for transferring some most important diseases in humans as well as to animals. Many insects are parasites of animals. Predation and Parasitism Predatory beetles and bugs are common in agriculture and often go unnoticed. But the valuable service provided by them cannot be ignored. They control the harmful insects which cause damage to agricultural crops. If the populations of these predators are disturbed as a result of chemical spray or some other practice, then the population of the insect pests of crops are liable to increase. Maintaining Plant Community Structure Insects maintain the plant community structure through feeding on plants, plant parts and seeds, hence keeping a check and balance on natural habitats. Critical Ecological Services In the tropical areas, termites degrade woods to improve soil structure. Similarly, insect larvae in the sea add to the organic matter of the water bodies by the degradation of leaves and wood from the nearby terrestrial plants and add nutrients to water. Hence, there is more to entomology than we ever think. It is an interesting field of biology that cannot be ignored and must be well communicated to agriculturists because of their importance in agriculture.
History of Entomology in India Chronological Events in the Study of Insects 1758 In the 10th edition of Systema Naturae Linnaeus, 12 Indian insects were recorded. 1779 Dr. J. G. Koenig, Medical Officer, initiated the work on Indian insects on scientific lines. He also published a special account of the termites of Tanjavur district. 1782 Dr. Kerr published an account of lac insect. 1785 Asiatic Society of Bengal started in Calcutta and many papers were published in the society's publications. 1790 Roxburgh a botanist published a detailed account of lac insect. 1791, Dr. J. Anderson issued a monograph on cochineal scale insects. 1800, Buchanan, a traveler, wrote on the cultivation of lac in India and on sericulture in some parts of South India. De Novan published Natural History of Insects, which was the first contribution on the insects of Asia and was revised in 1842 by Westwood. 1875, Foundation of the Indian Museum at Calcutta. 1901, Posting of the first entomologist to the Government of India, Lionel D. Nisevel. 1914, T. B. Fletcher, the first government entomologist of Madras state, published his book, Some South Indian Insects. 1916, the natural history section of the Indian Museum was formed as the Zoological Survey of India. 1921, Indian Central Cotton Committee to investigate on pests of cotton. 1925, Indian Lac Research Institute. 1940, Dr. T. V. Ramakrishna Iyer published the book Handbook of Economic Entomology, which met the long felt need of the students of agriculture and agricultural scientists as well. 1968, Dr. M. S. Manis, General Entomology. 1969, Dr. H. S. Pruth's Textbook of Agricultural Entomology. Dr. Pradhan's Insect Pests of Crops. 1960, The Desert Locust in India, a monograph by Y. R. Rao. 1969, The Monograph on Indian Tysanoptera by Dr. T. N. Anantakrishnan. Positions of insects in the animal kingdom. Characters of the phylum Arthropoda. Insects are invertebrates grouped in the phylum Arthropoda. Arthro means joint, poda means foot, and subphylum Uniramia. They have segmented body. Segments grouped into two or three regions, tagma, known as tagmosis. Renewable chitinous exoskeleton. Growth by molting. Bilateral symmetry of the body. Body cavity filled with blood called hemocene. Tubular elementary canal with mouth and anus at anterior and posterior ends. Dorsal heart with valve-like ostia. Dorsal brain with ventral nerve cord. Striated muscles with dark and light bands. No cilia, hair-like vibratile structure on the surface of the cell. Paired segmented appendages. Classes of Phylum Arthropoda Arthropoda is classified into seven classes. 
onychophora claw bearing example peripatus crustacea crusta meaning shell example prawn crab woodlouse arachnida arachne meaning spider example spider scorpion tick mite kylopoda kylo meaning lip poda appendage example centipedes diplopoda diplo means to poda appendage example millipede trilobita an extinct group insecta in meaning internal sect meaning cut or hexapoda hexa meaning sick poda meaning legs example insects the class insecta insects are the largest group of animals which constitute 75% of all living animals there are more than 1 million living species in the world and many more yet to be discovered they were the first flying creatures and still the only invertebrates that can fly they are the most successful animals inhabiting every conceivable ecological condition although only 2% of the insect species are obnoxious to man they are enough to cause heavy damage to crops livestock and man himself that makes them very important for human attention pest species are difficult to control and in spite of about a century of constant efforts cockroaches flies mosquitoes are as abundant as ever insect bodies are extremely tough due to exoskeleton and they possess enormous muscle power they are endowed with the capacity to survive in the most inhospitable situations the insect body is divided into three parts the head thorax and abdomen they have three pairs of legs and hence sometimes called hexapoda one pair of antenna functions as sensory organs one pair of compound eyes and one to three pairs of ocelli sometimes absent may be present mouth parts are variously adapted depending on the mode of feeding breathing is by tracheal system circulatory system is open type they excrete uric acid through malpighian tubules the nervous system includes a circumpharyngeal ring and a ventral nerve cord sense organs are very well developed reproductive capacity is enormous and larval stages grow by molting or ecdysis in the majority of them larval stage is different from the adult and there is distinct metamorphosis subclasses of insecta the class insecta has two subclasses namely a terigota and terigota the major characteristic features of a terigota and terigota are a terigota primarily wingless terigota winged or secondarily wingless from wingless ancestors evolved from winged ancestors namely flea head louse bed bug a terigota metamorphosis is totally present in terigota metamorphosis is absent or very slight a terigota mandibular articulation in dicondylic that is double terigota head is monocondylic that is single a terigota pleural sulcus in the thorax is absent while in terigota it is present 
pregenital abdominal appendages are absent in A. terigota while it is present in the terigota. Orders of A. terigota The subclass A. terigota has four orders namely Tysanura that example silverfish, Tyson meaning fringed, Eura meaning tail, Columbola spring tail or snow flea, Col means glue, Embol means peg, Protura protuberance or telson tail, Pro meaning first, Eura meaning tail, Diplura Diplurans or Japi gets di meaning two, ura meaning tail. Divisions of Terigota The subclass Terigota has two divisions namely Exoterigota and Endoterigota based on the wing development. Characters of Exoterigota and Endoterigota are as follows. Exoterigota, the wing development is external. Endoterigota, wing development is internal. Metamorphosis is incomplete in Exoterigota. Endoterigota, metamorphosis is complete. Holometabola, hemimetabola, and parametabola. The pupal stage is absent in Exoterigota while it is present in the endoterigota. Immature stage nymph or naiad is present in exoterigota while larval stages are present in endoterigota. The number of orders is 16 in exoterigota while endoterigota has 11 orders. Orders of exoterigota the exoterigota are a highly diverse insect superorder with at least 1,30,000 living species divided between 16 orders. Superorder exoterigota, Caloneurodia, which is extinct, Titanoptera, extinct, Protoptera, extinct, Lycoptera, stone flies, Embioptera, web spinners, Zooroptera, angel insects, Dermoptera, ear wicks, Orthoptera, glasshoppers, Super order, Dictyoptera, Plasmotidia, stick insects, tentatively placed here, Notoptera, ice crawlers, and gladiators, tentatively placed here. Blatodia includes cockroaches and termites. Mantodia includes mantids. Superorder Paranoptera. Socoptera includes book lice, bark lice. Tysanoptera includes thrips. Theraptera include lice. Hemiptera includes true bugs. Orders of Endoterigota Endoterigota has 11 orders. Super order Endoterigota Hymenoptera including ants, bees, etc. Super order Coleopterida including Coleoptera beetles, Strepsitera twisted winged parasites, Super order Neuroptera or Neuropteroid, Raphidoptera snake flies, Megaloptera alder flies, Neuroptera net veined insects, Super order Paneroptera, Mecoptera scorpion flies, Siphonoptera fleas, Diptera true flies. Protodiptera fossil, Trichoptera, Lepidoptera includes moths and butterflies. Insect dominance 
Insects are the most dominant species on the earth as they originated on earth 480 million years ago. Among 1.7 million living species, 0.95 million species are insects. Measures of dominance More number of species, large number of individuals in a single species Example, locust swarms comprising of about 1 billion individuals occupying large area. Great variety of habitats, long geological history, structural, morphological and physiological factors responsible for dominance, capacity for flight, more adaptability or universality. Majority of the insects are small in their conferring the following physiological and ecological advantages. Presence of exoskeleton. Insect body is covered with an outer cuticle called exoskeleton which is made of a cuticular protein called chitin. This is light in weight and gives strength, rigidity and flexibility to the insect body. Resistance to desiccation Insects minimize the water loss from their body surface through prevention of water loss, conservation of water, tracheal system of respiration. This ensures direct transfer of adequate oxygen to actively breathing tissues. Spiracles through their closing mechanism admit air and water loss. Higher reproductive potential. Reproductive potential of insect is high, that is, the egg laying capacity or fecundity of queen termite is 6000 to 7000 eggs per day for 15 long years. Summary The term entomology is derived from two Greek words entomon meaning insect and logos meaning study. The term insect is derived from the Latin word insectum which means cut into. Beneficial insects provide regulating ecosystem services to agriculture such as pollination and natural regulation of plant pests. They regulate the pest population of many harmful pest species, produce natural products and also dispose the waste and recycle organic nutrients. Insects are the key players in our ecosystem as a whole. There is a long glorious history of insect studies in India. Many institutions are established for the study of insects. Insects are the most dominant species on the earth as they originated on earth 480 million years ago. Among 1.7 million living species, 0.95 million species are insects. They have many structural, morphological and physiological factors responsible for their dominance. Thank you.